Hard enough when a child is diagnosed with an illness, and it's even tougher, harder, when the disease is rare and there is very little known about it. Yeah, an art exhibit on display right now in North Baltimore is hoping to raise more awareness and money for rare diseases. ABC 2's Megan Knight has a look at the art and explains how you can help. Xavier Bird didn't get a chance for a very long life, just seven and a half years. Yet his dad, Anthony Bird, says in that short time, his son made a huge impact. His personality, even though he couldn't speak, um, he couldn't move, he had a personality that definitely kind of shined through. Xavier had Schinzel Gideon syndrome, a rare neurological disease. The likelihood of getting it is about one in a million. When we found out, we didn't, uh, we asked the doctors to tell us everything about what we wanted to, you know, everything about it that we could use to help Xavier. Bird and his family leaned on Kennedy Krieger for help with Xavier during what would be their son's final years. Kennedy Krieger not only focuses on caring for sick and disabled kids, but also researching rare diseases. It's very hard to fundraise for rare diseases because the truth is they only touch so many families. So to raise more money for research, Kennedy Krieger is selling artwork at Monument Sotheby's International Realty. The exhibit is called the Zebra Alphabet. So this is helping us connect and educate people about how um, it is important. 26 pieces represent 26 different diseases, like the snowman painting for the visual snow syndrome, which is seeing snow-like dots and frequent headaches, or the outer space painting, which symbolizes the Nova syndrome, a condition where the brain is underdeveloped. Anything that we can do, anything that, that, that helps bring more money and more awareness to, to some of these diseases and, and, and to help Kennedy Krieger is, you know, it's amazing. Not a day goes by that Bird doesn't think of Xavier. He hopes his son's life, like the zebra alphabet, can make a difference. That would, that would be great for us to think that a part of his life was able to help somebody else's life. In Baltimore, Megan Knight, ABC2 News.